Hi, good morning all. Uh, my name is Richard Kelly. Thanks for joining us today. I'm with the volunteer uh, committee for Forge's Inspire Volunteer Herd. Uh, our Inspire Herd uh, helps Forge members find ways to give back to the Topeka community by building a culture of service among young talent here in Topeka. Uh, we connect Forge members with organizations and causes that they care about by providing monthly volunteer opportunities. Today kicks off that segment that we're excited to bring to you called Forge Cares. Uh, we'll be spotlighting local nonprofit profits and organizations around Topeka that you can help support. Today's video features Nikki Ramirez Jennings. She is the executive director of Scent Topeka, and we're excited to have her here with us this morning. Thanks for joining us, Nikki. Yeah, thank you, Richard, for having me. Absolutely. We're so excited to uh, have some of our, our members learn more about Scent and, and what they do here at Topeka. Uh, I did my own research uh, last night and saw all the, the cool things you guys are doing here around town. But just to start off with, so that we can help Forge members learn about your organization, you know, just tell us, what would you like Forge members to know um, about Scent? Okay, so what Scent is, we are a local nonprofit, and so what we are doing is working to change the narrative of the high crest community. And so that looks like uh, many things, but for us, our aim is to be intentional with walking alongside those people in, that reside in the high crest community, doing life with them, not doing life for them, not doing a life around them. Absolutely. Um, knowing that there's, I'm sure, a lot of things that, that Forge members could can learn more about or, or help with, what are mm -hmm. some things that Forge members could even do to help send, achieve their mission or, or um, support their mission, so to speak? Okay, so there's a lot of things that people can do, and people ask all the time, you know, how can we um, help, you know, achieve your mission? So we really just ask people, like, look at your head, look at your heart, look at your schedule. You know, what are the gifts that you have that could help us achieve this mission? You know, and in the midst of doing that, we could always use monthly supporters to help us fund the mission, uh, to help us fund our aim to walk intentionally, you know, and change the narrative of the high crest community. So we wholeheartedly believe there's something for everybody. Everybody's equipped with different strengths, you know, and there's room for everyone's strengths at the scent table. Absolutely. What, what are even starting with things that Forge members could do after they see the video? Um, you know, what are the things that they can do today or um, can they can they come by your building? Anything they can do to help uh, monetarily in that regard? Oh, yes, most definitely. So, again, monetarily, um, they can become monthly supporters. Um, I encourage them to, you know, jump on our website to get informed, you know, you know, as they always say, you know, take the time to educate yourself um, reach out to myself. I love um, getting to sit and talk with people, you know, about sense. So anytime uh, we're welcome, um, I'm open to visiting in person and on digital platforms. So those are just a couple of ways you can immediately uh, get involved with scent. Absolutely. And if somebody wanted to find out more information, what, what is a Sense website? Uh, just www.sentpeka.com. Awesome. awesome. And uh, your organization's been around for uh, three, a few years now, is that right? Yes, uh -huh, two years. Awesome. So in that time, um, what's helped your you know organization grow to where it's at now? And then where do you see Scent growing to in, you know, the, say, the next five years? Okay, and that, this is a right on time question, Richard, because we just got done doing two full days of strategic planning. So now we're like re oh, good. and repumped and looking, you know, about where we've been and where we are and where we're going. And so we actually mapped all that out um, last Thursday and Friday. Um, but looking for or looking now, why we move the way we move and why we've been able to accomplish what we accomplish. We have a great culture and um, we have a culture of count of accountability, a culture of being humble and working hard, of loving people well, of being kind, you know, staying in motion. You know, a ball moves best when it keeps moving, you know, so we keep moving, but we move in a way because, you know, you don't want to go too fast, but we move in a way so we're slow so we can move fast because when we move too fast, and you make mistakes that cause you to go back and then you have to slow down. But if you move in a way where people can walk alongside you and keep up, then everybody wins. You know, and looking forward, we just hope to keep moving uh, with purpose and to bring other people alongside of us. Um, we have like a little family unit. So when we think about adding to our scent team, we're not looking for another staff member. We're looking for another family member. And, you know, we do life 24 hours a day, you know, seven days a week. Not saying we don't have personal lives outside of each other, but we're available for each other. Not to the point where we push boundaries, you know, but we're available for each other. Absolutely. Oh, between <laughs> be, between your staff members and then uh, you know volunteers about how yeah. many folks are are typically 
involved in the in the scent process? Okay. Well, you know, being new um, and we're looking to grow, and um, there are two full time scent staff. So we're hoping to add, you know, um, three new positions soon. So stay tuned. If you visit our digital platforms, our Facebook page, you know, email, <laughs> our newsletter, and um, you'll be seeing what those uh, positions are too. But also what helps sustain us, you know, outside of, you know, the monetary donations is abiding by our core values, you know, which are reconciliation. I'm going to read them because I don't want to forget. <laughs> Not that sure. I don't know. <laughs> redistribution, redistribution, holistic approach, empowerment, and listening. And just breaking those down a little bit, you know, in reconciliation, all of our transactions with sin are relational. You know, we really, again, goes back to we are about doing life for people, not with people. And redistribution, you know, looking for opportunities and ways that we can advocate for this community so that resources are distributed, you know, equitably. So everything is equal and everything is fair. Because um, right now, you know, high crisis is a high intensive care area. And right now things aren't fair, unfortunately. But taking those steps with the community, you know, because after this is all said and done, this is not about scent. Um, you know, we want to one day the high crisis community say we don't need scent anymore. And then maybe we can move to the next, you know, high intensive care, you know, neighborhood having a holistic approach and people hear a whole, you know, they don't make think holy, but being attuned to the whole person, sure. you know, you think about listening. Some people cannot articulate verbally what needs to be said. Some people, you know, just seeing, I, if I see a man walking down the street and he's been wearing the same thing for the last three weeks, every day I've seen him, he might have a clothing need. He might really like his outfit, but he might, <laughs> he didn't come up to me and say, Nikki, you know, I need new clothes, but there might be some reason for us to go and approach him and see, you know, is there a need we can help you fill? And it's not about us treating him like a charity cage, but again, it's just, you know, us having an awareness, um, you know, and then listening, listening so that we can understand what the community needs, not so we can form the perfect reply or not listening so that we can criticize, uh, really empowering them um, so that we're they're equipped to do the things they need to do. You know, if, if we are constantly doing, which there's not vilifying, there's nothing wrong with giving away free food. But if we constantly are giving away free food at a certain time of the month and they get in the habit of coming to get that free food, what are they going to do when we're not there? If we not taught them how to budget and grocery shop and look for those things to help sustain, self-sustain themselves, you know, long term. And the last one is relocation. And we're not saying people need to like put for sale signs in your houses and everyone needs to relocate you know, to Highcrest, because this community is not for everybody. You know, you have to have a heart for this community, but it's practicing the power of proximity. You know, what does it look like if I come and I surf here, you know, all day long, or I work in this community, and then I go home all the way across town, but you only see me during office hours. Right. You know, people take and walk their animals at the lake. Why not come walk your dog at Betty Phillips Park? <laughs> you know, <laughs> You know, I don't live by the lake, but it's a nice place to walk. But Betty Phillips Park is a beautiful park. A lot of people don't have an awareness that exists. It's a great place to walk your dog and take your kids to play. So powering or practicing the power of proximity. So those are our core values. So that's also something that has helped our trajectory, has sent us to where we're growing, is standing by them. And they're not always popular with people, but having to be okay with not everything we do is going to be, you know, liked well. And that's okay. <laughs> well said, Nikki. Uh, I've got to ask you, where is the uh, Betty Phillips Park located at now that you asked that? So, of course, you're going to ask me that, Richard, because I'm directly, <laughs> I can take you there. So, Richard, I'm I'm expecting you to come to our building so I can take you there. Sure. Betty Park, but it's literally in the heart of Highcrest. And I will know if you if you're familiar with the com community resource building is mm -hmm. um, it is just I can say west of there. OK, um, so it's off of Golf Park. And okay. I just know people west on Golf Park and just keep going straight. Swing a left on Irvingham. Ha, huh, I got it. You will run right into the most beautiful park. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like you said, you've, you've been an organization now for about two, two and a half years. And yeah. I'm sure there's been a lot of great things that you're, you and your team have, have seen yeah. in that time and, and progress and events and memories. What yeah. are, I guess, maybe one or two of your favorite memories or events that, you, that you've had so far as an organization? Well, some of my favorite memories are, you know, we had just, you know, assessed successfully wrapped up our first high crest market and that's a farmer's market that we got started over here in the high crest community and not because there was anything wrong with our current farmer's market but um high crest unfortunately is a fresh fruit um, desert and so we needed to make sure there were healthy choices to be proactive with health healthy choices that were easily accessible and affordable so we do our own little high crest market over here on the second saturday of each month and we had just wrapped up our very first one being all new to this process like kindergartners <laughs> you're trying walking <laughs> 
figure it all out. And so at the end, after all said and done, as fast as we could have cleaned up, rolled up and ran home, you know, like, you know what, let's all just break out into the Cupid Chapel. So to see all of the volunteers come together and we put on a fun song. And it's one thing I love about this organization is that we are fun and free spirited. You know, we know when it's time to get to work, but we also know when it's time to celebrate and we celebrate a lot. Um, another thing that's an awesome memory of mine is I've never driven a golf cart before, but it's yeah. something I do quite a bit within my week. And um, I drive a Subaru, you know, but driving a Subaru around in this community can mean different things to different people. They could think I'm someone that's coming that wants something. But when you go out in a golf cart, Richard, and you have no roof and you have no doors and you have no tinted windows, it leaves you exposed. You know, people see you coming. Sure. So to be out and about in the, you know, in the community on a golf cart, waving to neighbors, listening to neighbors, one of our core values, you know, and they've gotten accustomed to it before. It was like, there goes a lady on a golf cart. And now it's like, yeah. hey, now I have a name. And that goes back to the power of proximity. I can't sit in my office Monday through Friday, you know, eight to five and push paperwork. I have to practice presence. I have to earn the right to be heard. And I do that on my golf cart. <laughs> it, it's something that's approachable. It sounds like everything your team, that, that's, everything you're doing right now is intentional and uh, it, it's done with a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. We try, so we, we invite you, Richard, and your team. We will take you out on the golf cart. Yeah. Where, yeah. Now tell, tell us uh, where is the Scent Building uh, located at for, for Forge members? Okay. We are located in the Community Resource Council building. It is 455 Southeast Golf Park Boulevard. So we are actually in the old Avondale East School. That okay. Was Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else that you'd like to share with with Forge members that are going to be be uh, learning about scent and listening? Um, obviously, we want to take all the feedback that you you've given yeah. us and, and share it with them. But um, or any anything else you'd like to, to share with us? Um, no, I'm just thank you for reaching out and providing me this opportunity um, to share more about what scent is. And, you know, and we're also big advocates on, you know, when you hear something, when you you know, see something, say something, you know, and a lot of people that's surrounding negative, but also the good stuff sure. when you see something, say something. And so, you know, we're really just full throttle on sharing and celebrating, you know, not only acknowledging, yes, there's yuck, but being prepared to celebrate the yays. So yeah. that's another way that Forge can help us too. When you see something awesome and we don't want you to have to ride the coattails of scent and regurgitate our stories. Like we invite you to come and walk with us and create your own stories, your own firsthand narratives of what you experienced when you came to the high crest community. We want it to get to a place where people want to be and they don't want to have to be. We don't nice. want it where people are just cutting through 29th to get to 37. <laughs> well, come, you know, have lunch at the park. You know, yeah. there's like new things going on here. And so we're just doing our best to share the good stuff that's going on. Um, because when you don't share what's going on, people start making up what they believe is going on. So right. You're help creating us. your own narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we appreciate all that you're doing, doing in the uh, high crest community and all that you're doing in that uh, area is, is, as you said, you, you've got a lot of passion for it and, and that's evident in, in the way you talk about it. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Richard. Yeah. Well, we, uh, the story should be, will be out hopefully um, around the end of August and we'll make sure to share it with you. Is there a Facebook page that, that uh, we can find uh, sent at? Uh, yeah, I just sent to Pika. We're pretty sent simple. To Pika. Yeah. Awesome. S-E-N-T, capital S-E-N-T, and sent stands for, I'm sorry I neglected to share this with you, strengthening and equipping neighborhoods together. I so was wondering. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Forgot that well, part. <laughs> Well, when we get it, when we get it uh, posted, I'll, I'll make mm -hmm. sure to share it with you, but look forward to coming out there and, and okay. meeting with you and your team too. Awesome. Thanks, Richard. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nikki. You bet. Have a good day. You too. Bye. <laughs>